My second album is called Breakthrough, and it's a completely different style how we recorded my first album, Coco. When I recorded Coco, I was younger. Every time I would write a song, I would play it to my producer, and we'd record it that day and put it up on MySpace. And it was over uh, a year period of time. It was never like a planned thing, like I'm gonna record my album. So for this record, Breakthrough, I got to schedule who I wanted the players to be, uh, the producers, what studios, everything. And it was just like a planned thing where I got to have exactly how I wanted it to be. And I'm just, I'm so excited for this record because it's about breaking through. It's about me finding out who I want to be and the woman I want to become and just breaking through all your fears and insecurities. Yeah, breakthrough, I just want people to know that they're not the only ones that have fears and insecurities. We always think that we're the only one for some reason. And so I, I wanted to let people know that I've had it. I've had a huge fear of stage fright and this whole business was scary for me at the beginning, but I'm, I'm breaking through it and I'm getting comfortable with it and um, I'm just having fun. I wrote with a bunch of uh, really well-known, talented songwriters for this record. I think they were just recommended to me and we have the same either management or um, under the same um, publishing company or something like that and they, they connect us and it worked out really well because Rick Knowles I wrote Fallen For You with. He is such a great writer because it's always a nerve-wracking thing when you have to express yourself and your emotions in front of a complete stranger. With him, every time I would come up with a melody or a lyric idea, he just loved it and it, it made me feel like I could be open more and, and write a beautiful song because of that. I also wrote with Cara Diaguardi, who was on American Idol. Her and my friend Jason Reeves and I, we went to Hawaii. Three weeks of being at this beach house and we would take hikes and, and jogs on the beach and tan and go surfing and then we'd make dinner and write these beautiful songs and a lot of them are on this record. So just writing with new people is a great experience just uh, of learning how to open up in front of people. It wasn't hard at all to, to write while I was on vacation in Hawaii. It's, writing is a fun thing, it's a hobby. So I like to sing, I like to play guitar, I like to go to the beach, I like to write songs. So when I can combine that with my friends in Hawaii, that's like the perfect setting ever. <laughs> Fallen For You is about falling for a certain guy and I wrote it the night after I went out on this date with him and we were actually just friends at the time and I realized that everything that happened that night when we talked, when we look in each other's eyes, when we were standing in the middle of the dance floor I, I heard no music and it's just crazy that when, when you meet that person nothing is going on around you, it's just you and that person standing there and uh, I guess I was on like a, a giddy little high from it the next day and I was with Rick Knowles and we were writing and this song just came out in like five minutes and um, I was falling for someone. I always listen to the same music that I've grown up listening to, like Fleetwood Mac and Bob Marley and Lauryn Hill and John Mayer. Uh, I've been listening to some new artists. Um, I love Kings of Leon and uh, Amy Winehouse and The Fray and Coldplay and One Republic. I love all of them. So I think with this record, just by listening to these artists for the past year or years, I think it, it maybe brought a different style deep down inside of me and when I was writing in Hawaii with my friends it, I don't know I don't know if it came out in my music I just know that other people's music will inspire you in a, a way that maybe it doesn't show but inside you it does something else One look from you, I know you understand. this mess we're in, you know it's just so For my first record, Coco, I got to get a reaction from my fans on what songs they liked the best, what song they wanted to have, wanted to be the first single. And so for this album, Breakthrough, I really wanted to keep that same approach of keeping my fans involved instead of just surprising them with this brand new album and maybe they won't like the music. I've been uploading videos of me and the band at rehearsal and trying to get their opinions if they like the songs. and. Um, 
I, I wrote a bunch of songs for this record, so when it came down to choosing them, I had no idea, and I really wanted my fans' opinions. So I had a listening party, and 20, fan, uh, yeah, 20 fans come down and listen with a bunch of my friends and family, and we all took like these scoring tests of what everyone liked the most, and we tallied them up and just did the ones that people voted on most. Just can't get enough. How much do I need to fill me up? It feels so good. It must be love. Oh, oh, oh. I give up. I give in. I let go. It's begin. My advice for new artists coming out right now is to practice your craft as much as you can. Don't be lazy with it. Don't think that you're you're all right now because it takes so much work and strength to be in this business. It's really tiring. It's also really great, but it's it's rough and you have to keep yourself in the game, ahead of the game. So I would recommend if you're a guitar player, practice guitar, take lessons. If you're a singer, take vocal lessons and really just nail your craft so that you own it when you go out there. And remember to have fun with it because if it's not fun, then it's not worth doing. You got me, you got me, oh. Oh, you got me, you got me.